What's up guys, Intentional back with yet another video, and today I figured we'd take a look at some trinkets in TBC. There are some interesting trinkets that can be found in Classic, and the so-called Mr. Flumpstick was intrigued on if there were any odd slash unique ones that could be found in TBC. So I'm going to be taking a look at some odd ones today, and not the regular old trinkets. Now before we start, I'm going to call out the 88% of you guys that aren't sub. We're getting pretty close to 1k subs and I'm super excited about it, so do me a favor of at least considering hitting that sub button. With all this being said, let's just hop into it. Our first trinket is the Tiny Voodoo Mask, coming from Hexlord Malacras and Zulaman. This trinket is very similar to the Peasant Caller trinket from Classic in that you will have three gnomes summoned that will attack your target with lightning bolts. Sadly, it does share a cooldown with the Peasant Caller so you can't have six people running around with you, but if you are a Moonkin with Force of Nature, then you can have six minions running around for a bit, which is pretty cool. Next up we have the Alembic of Infernal Power. Usually the first thought is to use it for PvP because of the resilience, but the 2% chance to gain 128 mana back when struck does make this item pretty useful in other scenarios. For example, Paladin solo farming and old content. Prop Paladins are going to make quite the splash in TBC due to Mage's AoE getting capped, and Paladins are going to be taking the crown over for soloing mass groups and mobs. With 20 plus mobs on you, that proc rate of 2% chance will go out often and you can regain a fair amount of mana. I can totally see this trinket being worthwhile for anyone trying to take prop paladin farming fairly seriously. Now these two trinkets are going to be lumped together because of how similar they are, but we have the Oculus of the Hidden Eye and the Fetish of the Fallen. With the Oculus having a useful effect of restoring 900 mana and the next opponent killed in 10 seconds, and the Fetish having the same useful effect but for 900 health. Now sadly, these do have a 2 minute cooldown, however they could still be really useful when farming, in particular the Fetish. A few instances that I could see this being used is when you're out skinning, or maybe when farming Warbeats for your Nagran reputation, or when farming Osha Gun Crystal Powder for your Hala mounts. By the way, if you want to know every single mount you can get in TBC, I'm going to have that linked in the top right corner for you. Moving on to our next trinket, we have something that is really an endgame trinket, but I just want to include it because I think it's a pretty cool concept. The Shifting Naru Silver. The use effect conjures a power circle lasting 15 seconds. While staying in the circle, the caster gains up to 320 spell damage and healing. I think this just adds a bit more to the game, and I kind of wish Blizzard would implement these items more often. To be fair, there could totally be items like this one on retail, but I'd have no idea. Doesn't change the fact that I believe trinkets that do abilities like this instead of just flat number increases is just more intriguing and frankly makes me want to get that trinket even more. Since we're in the area of Sunwell, let's check out a trinket coming from Magister's Terrace. Vial of the Sunwell. This trinket is very unique in that it actually collects 100 holy energy from your healing spells and caps out 2000 holy energy. Using that trinket will release what energy you have collected and heal your target. It's essentially a 1 to 1 ratio so at 2000 holy energy you will heal your target for 2000 health. This is freaking great for clutch situations at PvE and I can see this being useful in PvP as well. Some notes are that it is not affected by healing gear and it can actually crit which is pretty dope. And with a 2 minute cooldown, I can see this being very nice. It's essentially another heal for anyone and you can easily fill the 2k cap during those 2 minutes. I'm pretty curious to see how this trinket will be used in TBC Classic. Next up we have the Prism of Inner Calm, and it simply reduces the threat you produce from your critical strikes. And I know it doesn't seem like much, especially if you are going to replace a trinket for it, but if you are constantly pulling threat off your tank, this trinket could really be the answer for that. It's actually regarded as one of the best threat reduction items in game, and for certain classes slash specs like Elemental Shaman for example, it can really make it where you don't have to gimp your DPS due to threat. And it has a 150 threat reduction for physical crits and a 1000 reduction on spell crits, which is actually pretty insane. So if this item does drop, don't just disregard it, it can really change your gameplay. Next we have Living Root of the Wild Heart. Now although this is a druid exclusive trinket, I had to include it because it does something unique depending on what form you are currently in. In cat form you gain 64 strength, in bear form you gain 4070 armor, in milking form you gain 209 spell damage, tree life gives you 326 healing, and if you are not in form you gain 175 damage and healing. Now there are unique trinkets for every class, but I had to only talk about the druid one because we are just better than everyone else. Next up we have the Lightning Capacitor, and this trinket is unique in that you build up charges with your spell crits. At 3 charges you release a lightning bolt that can deal up to 807 damage, and it can crit. Now this doesn't seem too insane, however in the right hands it can proc pretty often. For example, Elemental Shamans because they tend to build crit heavy. There is talk that their chain lightning can proc the trinket if you crit on 3 targets, however I'm not sure if this is actually accurate. 
And there's also talk that the Lightning Bolt is actually affected by Shaman Talents as well, but I'm pretty sure this isn't a thing. However, if these are things, well, this trick is pretty busted. Now last but not least, we have the Nomergon Auto Blocker 600. You're probably looking at this item going, well, no big deal, right? And honestly, it is pretty run-of-the-mill, however this can be very beneficial for farming with Prop Paladins. I guess I should say Prop Paladins with Engineering that also have Force Reactive Disc. All of that block will cause the shield to really start popping off and to help clear packs very quickly. Of course the downside is that your shield will break more frequently. However, I can see this combo being used to down bigger packs, or simply make bigger packs actually doable. But those were 10 unique slash interesting trinkets that would be coming in TBC Classic. Do you think that some of them were pretty meh, or maybe I was putting a little too much thought into them? Let me know in the comment section down below, and make sure to link any trinkets that I might have missed. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button, really does help me as a content creator, and if you want to see more, hit that sub button. Hope you guys have a great day, and PEACE!